All right, welcome back, boys, to games that are not hard or scary. We are playing Darkwood, and I have been playing off screen, so we are now on day 10, and that has allowed me to figure out some stuff in the game. So for starters, I have a new weapon, the shovel, and it's upgraded with better materials and sharp, and so we'll talk a little bit about the game mechanics. Um, so once we begin upgrading the workbench, we're now at the point where... I, I had to basically farm up some reputation in order to get my workbench going. We now need something I don't recognize. That kind of looks like a blowtorch to me. So that's an item I haven't seen before. But I had trouble understanding how you repair things. So like when you click repair, it, it removes all the things that can't be repaired. And so I can see now that this would need two scrap metal and two wood in order to repair. And then when you upgrade a weapon, you click upgrade and then you click the weapon you want and then you can actually see what you want. And so right now I'm at two out of two upgrades. I chose sharpen, which gives more damage and better materials, which gives more durability. One thing that's nice about the durability increases, it doesn't increase the repair cost. So it's just strictly better. But um, we actually have some upgrades I can't get, but and uh, that's because I'm at two out of two upgrades, meaning I had to pick two out of these four. And um, I didn't go for Sturdy Blade because uh, that Shovel Blade is 450 influence. But it, it seems like if I click it, it says there's no new, no more room for upgrades. I need to upgrade my workbench. So it implies this idea that if I upgrade my workbench, I'll be able to get a third upgrade and maybe eventually even all four of the upgrades. So that's actually pretty good. And uh, Another thing, I figured out what this does. This is actually how I activate my navigator ability, which I'm able to activate once per day. You can see I've done it twice. That's, uh, and I've been using them as map markers to find out, like, if there's a treasure chest, and I just can't remember where it was, so that's how I've been using it. Uh, and then I can put J for journal, which actually allows me to look at the different skills I've gained. And we have a journal here, which I might read on... Uh, so, like, we're going to be... The way this episode is going to work is I'm going to do part... I'm going to do a little mission because I... Uh, we are going to go into that new area because I think I know what to do now. But there's something else I found. Look at this note. Wait, not, not, not this. Invitation. We invite you to a celebration behind the cornfield in the southeastern edge of the meadow. And then there's a code here. I'm pretty sure this is for the wedding. I haven't investigated it yet. That's what we're going to be doing for part of this episode. But I also saw a new entry for the Wolfman. So that's exactly what we are going to be doing. And in an effort to keep the video short, I'm going to be jumping around in order to get it done. So I will see you over by the Wolfman. All right, so here's Wolfman's camp, and I saw a dialogue option for him, but I haven't done anything with it, so I want to see what he says. So you can see our show item, and I was like, okay, invitation. I don't know what he's going to say, though, so now we're kind of caught up with where I am. Excellent meat. An invitation to a wedding party? The wolf snorts with laughter, his putrid saliva landing on my face. It's an invitation to that house in the southeastern edge of the Dry Meadow. So that's the name of the starting area, the Dry Meadow. The music there has been playing nonstop since I remember day and night. A never-ending wet wet interesting. The wolf throws the invitation back at me. It's wet with spit. Have fun, meat. Just remember to hide that disaster of a face or it's no dancing for you. Okay. I guess he's calling us ugly. Uh, the wedding, that's where we're gonna head to next because I'm pretty sure that is where the safe code that we didn't have earlier will open it. And that's also why I brought the lantern with me because it will illuminate darkness without tying up my hands. So I will see you there. All right, so here's the hedge maze that had the trail of flowers or the wedding area. And now that we have this, we should be able to, I guess, open up the safe. I actually went in here again to see if there was anything I missed, and it didn't seem like it. But let's go ahead and use this. So now, as long as the lantern is in my hotbar, which is not my store... Are you an enemy? Don't seem like it. Uh, you were not here before. 
He said there was music playing. I'm not gonna attack her just because... Can I? And I can't talk to her either. Okay, like... I have a strong feeling that I should not just attack things just because I can in this game. Because her health bar did appear. I don't hear any music, though. I, uh, Wolfman might be crazy. Alright, so here's the door. Yep, yeah, there's the combination lock. So let's hit journal. And let's go to the note. Oh, nope. That's for the next part of this episode. Invitation. So, 5923. Let's try it. 5923. 59. Two, three. Nice. All right, we're in, boys. Power's out. Okay, we got items. Medium. We got some gas. Oh man, getting loot, boys. That's what I like seeing. Okay, now I can hear the music. Hmm. And someone banging, obviously. A pig. Is that an enemy? Are you gonna attack me? Okay. Guess not. Nothing in the oven. Table. No. No, don't need to drag the table. Let's see what's in the wardrobe. Ammo, 9 volt batteries, alcohol, pills. Man, we're getting some good stuff here. Oh man, I might have to make- I gotta make multiple trips. I will do that in between the episodes though. I'm not going to subject you guys to me. Oh, I saw something. This thing has a little bit of gas in it. I bet this area doesn't go anywhere. Yeah, I don't think this is going to go anywhere. Hold on a second. Let's see, can I interact with this door? It's The door lock seems to be jammed, so the answer is no, this is the correct way. Now, it looked like that, the wedding lady. Where am I? Okay, I'm past the wedding area. I'm pretty sure this is more area that we just yeah yeah okay so you can see here how dense the the trees are becoming like this area has basically been search steering wheel okay i definitely need to come back i will i will do this in another episode that in another episode though i will come back and loop this extra stuff or in between episodes i'm gonna hop in wedding music Oh, oh, someone was messing up the music. Who is pounding? Oh! We've... been... waiting... for... you. Oh. Oh. The music is feeling a bit more ominous. A flashlight. Could I be worried about this? I'm starting to feel a little worried. Please turn off the radio. The, the music is beating to the sound of his head. There's the lady again. Wanna dance? So there's multiple of them. Dance with me. Dance. Will you dance with me? This is really weird. I don't know if this is a bad idea or not. I feel like attacking them is a bad idea. It, it, you can see their health bar at the bottom. That's that red bar. Which means they are a legit target for attack, but... I mean, they don't seem to be doing any harm to me, so like... This is weird. Hey, the guy is gone. Oh. Yeah, it's just lightning. 
There's lightning, boys. Nothing that we worried. We've been waiting for you. Oh, what is that? Dance with me. No, get away from me. Ow, it does a lot of damage. Wow, it hurts really bad. Oh no! It's also really fast. I gotta use the range on it. Oh! Oh, I'm focusing really hard right now. I still haven't mastered the... Bandages, please. Bandages. Oh god. Switch to my weapon. Ow! Ow! Oh, I got him! Oh my god, I got him. I gotta heal. I need- I need my pills. What the hell was that thing? Are they all gonna turn into those? That thing was, like, really strong. I might have overhealed myself. I was I was expecting a little bit a little too much from the bandages. The area is locked now. Oh my god, my heart is pounding. Like I, I thought they I thought they had me there. That thing was like I don't even know what that thing was. It's dead though, I think. Everything is locked. Interesting. Doesn't look like I can get in. Did I lose any of the loot? I think I did. No, okay. I'm a okay. Oh man, that was a wasn't ready for that, boys. That was I'm I'm go okay. I don't even know. Like, I am still very confused by all of this. All I know is that that thing was tough. And you, I'll tell you what, you know, like, you, one way you can tell when I'm concentrating is I fall silent. That's one of the ways you know, like, like I got 100% of my focus on the game is when I fall silent. So, like, I've got, okay, I've got a watch now so I can see what time it is. And I know that uh, 20 is when the, um... Uh, 20 is when night falls, so I've got until I'm, I'm gonna try to dump this stuff off Gather up that stuff and get it back by before nightfall. That's going to be the plan. Anyways I will see you for the the nighttime defense. All right, boys Let's get the generator up and running night officially starts at 20 So we are gonna go get these generators up and running saves a little bit of fuel to not activate it immediately uh, this would be an, an opportunity to heal, though I already have. And, um... Yeah. So the, uh, the enemies have erratically become more aggressive, and by that I mean... There are nights where no one attacks, and then there's nights where they actually start to attempt to break down the, the, the boarding. Uh, what you can see I've done to the house is... I have pulled this into the corner, which gives plenty of illumination. But at the same time, the lighting doesn't go out the windows. And same over here. Like, by pulling it over here, it actually does two things. One, uh, it acts as an obstruction, which means I could put a... I could put a trap right here and they would most likely get trapped by it. But, um, yes, okay, so it's officially nighttime. God, they're not wasting any time. I already hear something. I normally don't get attacked immediately, so we do have a chance to kind of look at our supplies. You see, I've got a good bit of gasoline. Which is always nice. Got, gotta love gasoline. Uh, we've got a bunch of bottles. Oh, here's something that's awesome. We got weapon parts right here. So I bought these for 250 uh, that's what we need for the pistol, so... The tape is 40 reputation. The hand grip is... 450. So it's basically a 1,000... 
rep build. Here's something. I think it's also important to be quiet. Not just... I think you want to draw as little attention to yourself as possible. I'm trying to not use as many traps because my melee weapon does use metal for repairs and the traps do cost three metal. I've been a little more bold at night. I don't think I'm going to do it this time, but I've been kind of like investigating the exterior because like you can actually see like I don't want to face my character towards it too much. There, right over here. This is something that I could potentially collect, I think. So, like, there is a reward for braving the night. But at the same time, obviously you make a ton of noise and alert people, and the time I went out is the time they, like, attacked the base, like, really hardcore. Like, I, I think if I just stay here, don't shine any lights out the window, and don't move around too much, then... Oh. Silence. So one thing that's good to know is that... Oh, I see them moving something. It's just a dog, though. I will slibbity slap him if he comes for me. Just like that. I will take the meat. The meat is worth five reputation. I love that the shovel takes him out in one hit. The shovel... I think they're attacking the barricades. I don't know which- I think it's the one over here. I hope he gives up on it. Give up! Can't break him! I mean, they, they can if they pound him long enough, but... I'm hoping... Day will break. Wait, is something happening in here? Where'd all that blood come from? Oh, I hear something. There's still a lot of weird, random things that happen at night that I don't understand. Still trying to break those barricades. It's burning a lot of time, though, you can see. It's already six... six in the morning. Eight o'clock is when the day begins. So I, I think he's gonna fail to break in. Which means I don't think I'll have to replace... I don't think I'll have to replace it. Come on! Yep, I don't, I don't think he's gonna break through it. That means I, I might, maybe I have to repair it, but I don't think I have to replace it. Nice! Okay, day 11. I almost had my first death there. That, that thing, whatever it was, almost got me. But almost doesn't count. Okay, so it looks like that barricade is fine. I don't know if you have to repair them or not. It just says dismantle. Yeah, I don't know which, uh... I'm gonna check some of the other barricades real quick. This barricade is too strong. Oh, so this one is a permanent barricade. I think that's what that means. But either way, they, they, they couldn't get in, except for the dog, and that was fine. And that means I didn't waste that trap either. They actually broke through the door that one time. But, um... Yeah, I don't know. I'm, I'm either going to end the episode here, or I... No, I'm not going to do that. I think we're going to... Eh! 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 I got a gun. I got a gun. No girls. I know you tell you something. I'll drink to that. All right, boys. New day. Both in real life and in the game. This is like... I forget what day this is. Like 13, 14, something like that. 
And so now I have a basic idea what I'm going to do. I found some things. So first off, I found a note. Uh, so this was basically in the area that I had to fully explore. There was actually, it was dark enough that I didn't notice an, an additional doorway, which led to a note that has the combination lock, which I then opened. And that, I decided to poke in a little further. I got, um, that's actually why you could see these here. I found a map that revealed these two locations, but... As you can see, I haven't revealed any landmarks on the way there, because then I was like, okay, nope, never mind. We need to wait so that we could start recording. So we now know there is another hideout. This is the dry, so this is the dry meadows. This is the name of the area, dry meadows. This is the name of the silent forest. So the silent forest hideout is here. And then some guy named Piotrek. I guess we're going to be meeting him. But yeah, so now we can go into these areas. Uh, oh, I found them. Pack of cigarettes, I guess. Don't know what they're good for either. But, um, yeah. That's what we're going to be doing this episode. This is a heavy combat build I've got. I got my shovel, uh, the pistol, some pills, a lockpick, watch, and there's just a whole bunch of gear here. Because we're not really... I'm not really... Oh, I gotta turn the generator off. Okay. Fortunately, time wasn't moving, so the generator wasn't burning any excess fuel. You know what? Now that I think about it, if I'm going to a new hideout, I'm gonna guess it's in a pretty dilapidated state. Maybe I should bring some boards and some nails. Since I imagine I'm gonna want to reinforce it. I don't know. Um... Oh, and I also got an inventory upgrade. Well, one of these things here. Inventory used the, the fine cloth and some rope. And I so now I got two more slots of inventory. Next, I'm probably going to get a hotbar expansion. So, let's get going. That's going to be our goal today. We got to go and secure that new outpost because that's where we are going to be spending some time there. The goal is basically to secure it and hold out. I guess, you know, because we, we can afford to explore on other days. But I just want to make sure we can actually get there, because I don't know what's in that area. I heard something bark at me, and it sounded a lot deeper voice than the regular the everyday dog, so... I don't know if it's just uh, in my imagination, but I'm pretty sure there is a another enemy there. But I don't know. We'll find out. We're going in. That's actually what made me stop. I heard something bark at me and then I ran away. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, this is clearly not the right way. Here we go. Okay, so here we are, back here. So the area, basically, I couldn't get past this door. But... What I had to do was go over here... And then I didn't realize it, but you go in here, and then there was a door. See, here's the savage that I killed. And then, I forget where, but somewhere in there was the note. And then the note told me to how to unlock the door, which took me back over here, to the metal door, which, with, now that it's unlocked, we can go through. So, looks like we want to go straight south, because that's where our hideout is going to be. Oh, and this is the man who gave me the, um... So this is as far as I got. I got went a little further, and then something barked at me, and I ran away. Um, yeah. So I guess we are going to go fight whatever barked at me, because I'm guessing it's still there. Come out, doggy. Oh. You see what I mean? Whoa, it's different looking. Oh! 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 Huge dog. Oh, there's gonna be a wolf. Cookable meat, okay. That's fine, I guess. One thing that's kind of hard with the shovel is that you need... You need to time your swings, because, like... It, the, the part where the screen shakes... That's actually when you contact with the enemy, so... 
Oh! Anyways, the point is that... Silent Forest, the train wreck? Well, we're, we're, we're locating area. Okay, okay, step one. Oh god, are you an enemy? Are you gonna fight me? You are gonna fight me. Ow! He's got range on me. Okay, I'm gonna dodge him. Ow! I'm about to just shoot you with a gun. Oh, he's faster than me. How do I use, uh, medicine? Eat that. What happened to my healing? I thought I used the medicine. Where did those pills not heal me? Did, was that not was that not a healing item that I used? Oh, I bet those pills are for stamina. <laughs> Oh, that's the problem. Those are stamina pills, not healing pills. That's why I got that lung effect. Okay, boys. Hold on a second. I'll be right back. All right, boys. We're back, and I brought the right pills this time. So let's... Which kind are you? Are you another stick guy? Nope, you're not a stick guy. You're a regular guy. Oh, he dodged my attack. He's like... Agile. Oh my god, look how he's like skilled. He's like... He's got the technique. Okay, my inventory's full. We need to get to the base, and I hope there's a storage room there. Oh, was that a tank? Oh yeah, it's like a tank from like a war, I guess. That's pretty sweet. This place would make a good hideout. Oh, okay, okay. A well. How much do I need to build it for? I kind of like the idea of having access to healing. Interesting. So this base appears to be... multiple... buildings. Well, I guess the other one is as well. It's got enough fuel for a day. That's fine. What do we got in here? A box? Bread and a, pot a potardo. Uh-huh, I need a key for that. Sofa. Okay, they got a saw here. Got a tractor with some gasoline. Let's go ahead and just throw all of our gasoline in here real fast. That'll... We need to fuel it up anyways, and we need, um... We, we need to fill it up, and it'll also help us remove some of this crap out of our inventory. So it'll all be good. Seems like a, it seems like a good idea. Something we gotta do either way. Bam. Okay, now we got plenty there. This saw has a little bit in there, in case I'm sure we'll be able to find more wood. So let's take a look inside this base. What do we got in here? A wardrobe. Alcohol. Interesting. Where's the store? Wh wait, where's the workbench yet? It's already level four. A bike bell? Interesting. What's that noise? An oven? Light the oven? Okay. The oven is lit again. Okay. Oh, we can use this. Extract some essence from it. Wow, that gave us a lot. Wow. That was good. Those dogs could be a way to get some new skills. It's pretty good. Oh, uh, so it's already level four. That's pretty sweet. Uh, let's... We got about six minutes tonight, so let me put some of our stuff in here. Oh, large mo Okay, we can cook these. Hopefully I can find some quick building supplies nearby. Rag, uh... Ration stamps? This is a bunch of Polish stuff that I don't understand. Interesting. Bathtub, don't need to mess with that. Ah, uh, what else do we got in here? A lamp. Wardrobe. 
Got a food item in here. Oh, more mushrooms so we can get tripping off some acid. That's good. Uh, shelf. Pills. I'll take it. That'll stack. Wire. I was kind of hoping for a little bit of, um... Building materials, to be honest. Wow, there is no way we're going to barricade that area. That That is just completely open. Um, let's turn this on briefly. I hear something stretching. What is that noise? Oh, mushrooms. Okay, so the stretchy sound is mushrooms. Okay, I want to turn this on briefly just so I can kind of see where the lighting is. So there's one there. Okay. Okay, I think I'm gonna pull the lamp into this room over here. The reason for that is because, um... I've been attacked by those weird shadow things, and they turn the lights off. And I didn't understand how it worked, but... Uh, after I've been attacked by them multiple times, I have discovered that they they turn the lights off, but they alternate between the lights. Like they don't they don't turn them all off all at once. So let me shove you over here. Basically, I just need to be able to move between the rooms if necessary. Wow, there's no way we can repair that. We can repair this, though. Okay, so this is a permanent barricade. Let's go ahead and barricade this room, then. Oh, man, I need more nails. It's always something in this game. Let's go ahead and turn the generator off now that I know where the rooms are. I have no idea how dangerous this first night is going to be. I was really hoping to find some building materials. Because I don't have enough nails, which is kind of bad. Well, oh, speak of the devil, we got nails. Okay, so maybe we're not going to do it that way. Maybe we will... What if we barricade? Let's barricade this. So this is a guaranteed barricade. Let's barricade this. Good. That's also a guaranteed barricade. Okay. Barricade this. Okay, we got a door here. What does it take to barricade a door? Seven. Interesting. Wow, there is a, this base is going to require a lot of work. Can we move this over, maybe? I mean, obviously we can, but is it going to do us any good? Maybe I can push it in a way that it'll... There we go. Come on. Push it into place. You can do it. There we go. Maybe it'll be too hard for them to move it now? Oh, that's a door. That's a door. This could be a repaired doorway. Wow. That is not good. Okay, so let's barricade th this doorway? Mm. Or the now nah, let's barricade this doorway. Or not. Hmm. Do I is it more important to get out into here? Or is it more important to block this one out? Let's push the lamp 
into the corner. Like so. I think I'm going to barricade the top one. Okay. So they shouldn't be able to get into this room unless they smash the barricade down. I think the next thing I want to do is I'm going to build some traps. Go ahead and cook as well. Oh, is that enough? Um... See farther? I like seeing. Okay, I don't know if I like seeing tripping off acid though. At least I didn't have to pick another negative trait, that's fine. Wait. What? Where, where am I? Okay, I got a flashlight, I guess. Corpse? Oh man, I'm super tripping off acid, boys. Hey, this is the underground tunnels. Okay, I know where I am. Do I want to be down here? Oh, am I having a vision of where I'm trying to go into, like, the number 21 door? Armored door, examine. Press your ear against the keyhole. I hear a faint voice throughout the howling wind. It sounds familiar. It seems to be coming through the keyhole. Someone is calling me. Look through the keyhole. What the hell is that? Is that a person looking back at me? Hello? Wait, why, why am I saying hello? Yeah, it is a person. Okay, come. Come to me. Oh! I'm here. Ooh, shiny stone. Do I have shiny stone? Shiny stone is worth a ton. Oh, turn turn my flesh. Shiny Okay, that's too good to be true. This isn't real. There's no way I'm gonna keep three shiny stones. That's 300 influence. Okay, yeah, this is fake. This is fake. Oh, it's a swing set or something, like one of those weird children's toys. We're in a playground or something? Where do I go? What am I doing here? I don't like it here. I... I am I in water? I hear sloshing. Yeah, I see something. Where are we, boys? Lamp? Oh, no! Turn it off. I don't like it. Don't like it. Don't like it. Don't like it. Maybe they're all just taking a nap. Maybe that's a, gi a giant classroom of man-children taking a nap. Think on the bright side, boys. Thinking on the bright side. Oh! 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 What is that stuff? I don't like it. Get away from me. Oh, it's coming back after me. Turning the lights on. That's not helping. It's not helping. It's... Oh, man, I want to go back. I want to go home. Going home. Want to go home. It's coming back. Which way do I go? Which way do I go? Leave me alone. 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 Ah! I'm out of stamina. The, the light does nothing. Get away from me, you jerk. Get away from me, you jerk. I mean, I'm pretty sure it's just a dream, though, so I, I guess it does. I, I'm pretty sure it's just a dream. I don't think it matters. I think we're good, boys.
Yeah, it's just a dream. That's probably supposed to happen. That's probably how you exit the dream. Okay, four of those in. Back to what we were doing. That was weird. Don't know what I learned from that. Don't know if it, like, it was important or something, but it was weird. Oh, I don't have any metal. That's not good. Oh, come on. Tell me there's some metal nearby. Scrap metal would be nice. Fan belt. Gasoline. Um, I only have one trap. That's not good. I didn't think I would need metal. Oh, man. <laughs> I don't like that. That was weird. Potatoes. Um, I guess we'll put this in. Uh, we only got a little bit of time left. I don't, I don't like this base already. It's a very unusual base. Like, the defensive locations are not as obvious like the other one. Um... I don't think there's anything I can build here either. Oh, let me take my light sources, actually. Yeah, we need to prepare for combat. Oh, I want the food as well. Yeah, sounds good. Let's go ahead and get the lights on. And we are going to spend the night in the new area. Okay, how do I get over there? Right, just like this. Um... I think we will put the trap down. Don't know where I want to put it though, probably right here. That way it can hit either of them, and there's still room for me to get out. Get out of the way. Okay, trap is down. I don't think this- I don't think this chair is gonna help. We can move it around on another day. I'm just gonna get it kind of out of the way. Okay, so the positioning of the lamps looks pretty good. Let's be quiet, boys. No moving. Just gotta be quiet. Okay, I can- I can mess with my inventory. I got a gun. Oh, come on. Already noises? Don't make any noises, boys. No noises. They don't think we're here? We're good. No one's home. All in your head. No one's home. Man. What is that? Is that the door swinging around? Okay, two hours down. No one's home. Just, uh... Just, just, you guys just go outside and enjoy a nice stroll in the woods. No, no one's home. No reason to investigate here. I assure you nothing is happening. There's no one home. It would be really boring if you come in here. You'd be like, dang, why did I come inside this house? There's like no one here. How boring, like the, the there was never good, there, there, you didn't just miss the party. There was never a party here to begin with, so there's no reason to come in the house. Ooh, 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 ooh. So we're, we're four hours in, eight hours to go. As uh, day, day breaks at, as the music starts at 6, and day breaks at... Eight. Yeah, I like how the door has stopped moving. I don't like how there's light outside, though. I'm not, I'm not moving. I'm not, I'm not, not moving an inch. Not moving at all. Ooh, no way I hear something. No one's in here. Don't do it. Don't do it. No one's in here. Okay. 
Okay, that might have just been a haunted door opening. That might that might have been nothing. I do not like that light outside. Is that my lamp doing it? I feel it shouldn't be my lamp. I feel like the light should not be penetrating to the outside. Oh, I heard something. Don't come in. Don't do it. Save yourself. Add my ammo. Oh, I hear something. Oh, I hear something. Oh, he sees me. Oh, God. Ow. Ow. And now I'm here. That's not good. That's not good. Ow. Got him. Oh, he didn't die from that. It's a stick guy. It was at this moment that he knew. He oh, I got trapped my own trap. Damn it! I stupid. I stupid. I dumb. I derped. I derped. So what happens? I derped, boys. I guess nothing happens. Traitor, yeah. The man stands before me motionless. I can only see my own faint reflection in the semi-transparent visor of his helmet. Suddenly he starts to move quicker, as if looking for something in his pockets. He takes out a piece of charcoal and starts writing on his palm. There's no way out of here, brother. He shows me what's written, then wipes his sleeve, continuing to we're stuck with each other. After making sure... I've also read the second sentence. The man takes out a full tank of gasoline from his sack and places it on the floor next to me. Okay, so he doesn't want to see any of those items. Wait, where'd my inventory? Where'd my stuff go? Do I, do I lose items? Oh, okay, I lose items. Okay. That doesn't seem like a big deal. The death... The death penalty doesn't seem like that big of a deal. Well, I guess it's, I, I think the rule on harder difficulties, you have a limited number of lives. I think that's the difference. So on this mode, I think you could just... I don't think there's much of a penalty to dying in this mode. So they were able to push this aside. That's unfortunate. That's not too bad, though. Hmm. If only we were able to jam this in, that would have been nice. Didn't quite work out the way I intended it to. But hey, I want to see, do you, do you have new things to sell? Mm, that's all. Oh, I want nails. Nails would be nice. Hey, where'd my money? I didn't get... Aren't I supposed to get money? Fabric, 1450 That's expensive. See, it, it doesn't... The pill doesn't tell you what it does. I, I assumed it was... Hmm. Huh. Interesting. Interesting. So I I can't I have to watch the footage again. I can't remember, did the dog go over it or did he go under the trap? Because like the trap is about right here. Oh, I need to turn the generator off. What am I doing? Generator boys! Because we'll have to make some adjustments to it. Okay. So I'm so it's like I don't know how many enemies I'm gonna fight, but if I have to fight one big dog and one stick guy per night, that's gonna be kind of a pain. Maybe not if I can get the traps to get them. So they broke through here, unfortunately. I will buy something. I need to buy nails from this guy. I need nails. Alright, give me all the nails. Oh, there's no room in my inventory. Exit. Uh, where's the workshop at? Give me the nails. There we go. I... Whoa, is that... 
Is is that the penalty of dying? You don't get money? Oh, I think that's what it is. I think that's the reason why we don't have money. Where did my wood go? I, I, I gotta go back to the... I'm gonna have to bring my stuff from the other base. I'm gonna do that in between episodes, though. I'm gonna bring stuff to fortify the base. I don't know what I'm gonna do. Next, we need to explore as well. Hmm. Although, it doesn't matter... Does exploring matter if we can't hold the base down? Like, I think it's more important to try and find a way to hold the base down. I don't know. I'll think about it in between episodes. We'll see how it goes. But if that's all the penalty is for dying, then we should just be able to throw bodies at this game until we win. Like, that doesn't seem like that big of a deal. So, that's what we're gonna do. We'll throw bodies at the game until we win. That is the Fox-approved strategy. Anyways, hope you enjoyed this extended episode. We are now officially in the Silent Woods, and that's going to be it. Hopefully, we can position the trap more intelligently. I gotta rewatch the footage to see if he went above or below the trap, so we can re we can put it back where back in a better place. And yeah, that's what we're going to be doing. Anyways, like this video, say, say subscribe for future Gankwood content. Of course, remember that you don't have to be good to get good. I almost forgot my intro there, or outro rather.